Hey, I'm Lana Larks. I'm an indie game developer, a Twitch streamer, and I'm a Leno developer advocate. Today we're going to be setting up Cloudron. If you're not already familiar with Cloudron, it's a one-click app available on Linode that helps you run other apps. Cloudron allows you to deploy your apps with a number of different features. For example, it helps with the DNS setup, with the database setup, certificate management. Uh, it allows for a centralized user management system. And it also does periodic updates and backups so that you don't have to worry about that manually. To give you an idea of the applications you would want to run on Cloudtrain, you'd be looking at things like WordPress, uh, GitLab, um, OpenVPN, Nextcloud. There's a whole bunch of other ones, and we'll be looking at some of them in future videos. So without further ado, let's look at how to set up a Cloudtrain. The first thing to do is to log into your Linode account. If you don't already have a Linode account, then I have good news for you. You get a $100 credit if you sign up through the link in the description of this video. So go ahead, set up an account, and then log in. Great, so once you're logged in, we're gonna go over to the side here and click on Marketplace. Here you'll see a bunch of different applications you can choose from. We're gonna click on Cloudron. Then we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna select an image. We're gonna pick the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. And we're going to pick a region that's close to you. For me, the closest region would be Toronto, Ontario. By the way, if you don't see your region on this list or one that's particularly close to you, don't worry too much. Just pick the closest one and that will do the trick. We're then going to go and pick a CPU. We're going to go, it defaults to dedicated CPU, but we're going to go to the shared CPU and look for Linode 2 gigabyte. That should do, um, that should be able to cover us for the things that we're going to be doing. Next, we're going to pick a label. I've called mine Jimmy. And if you want to, you can put some tags to help you find your Cloudron, but I only have a few, so I don't need to worry about that at this point. Next, we're going to enter our root password. Don't look what I'm going to type. Cover your eyes. OK, you can look again. And now you can pretty much go ahead and create the Linode. You're welcome to add an SSH key if you're familiar with that. You can attach a VLAN. You can also do backups. That's all there and available for you. But as far as we need, we're ready to go. And we can go ahead and create Linode over here. OK, so once you've set that up, you're going to be redirected to this page here. I'm waiting for Jimmy, my Cloudron, to set up. It can take somewhere between five to 10 minutes. So this is a good chance to go make a coffee, do a stretch, go pet your dog, whatever you need to do while you wait for that to set up. If you don't have a caffeine addiction or a dog and you've already done your daily stretches, then you can see what's going on behind the scenes. This is not re required, but if you like really wanna know what's going on, you can click on launch Lish console here and it just shows you kind of what's going on behind the scenes. When you're ready to check if your Linode is ready, you can click on the IP address here, copy it from this, and open a new tab where you can paste that in and load the page up. Once it's ready, you will be able to visit it. As of right now, it is not ready. Now it's ready. Okay, so this is actually expected. Your connection is not private. It's giving us security warnings. And if you went to some random website like this, you should definitely check out some of the warnings that it's giving. But because we know where we're going, this is right to our Linode. We copied it right from here. We know it's safe and we can bypass it. So you can click on advanced and then proceed unsafe. Or you can type in this is unsafe. It won't show up anywhere as long as you have this window selected in focus and it will allow you to proceed to the next step. OK, I had to refresh um, and it did a little reload. But now that we've done that, it's this is where it will take you. The next thing we're going to do is get ourselves an email. I'm going to get mine from Hover and I'm going to look for this is game dev dot com, which is the name of my community. And luckily it's available. So we're going to grab that. And we're going to check out. Now we have the domain. The next step that we need to do is to change the name servers. And this is going to be different depending where you get your domain from. You can get it from anywhere. You can also use an existing one, but we want to set the, the name servers to point to Linode. So we're going to 
type in ns1.linode.com and ns2.linode.com. We then need to add three, four, and five, which are automatically filled in, which is fantastic. We can now click save name servers and this should work and it may take a little while to take effect, but that's all we need to do here. We can now go back to Linode and set it up there. Now back in Linode, we can click on domains and we can click create domain. I'm going to add the same one I just set up in hover. Um, that was this is gamedev.com. I'm going to put in my email and we're going to put insert default records from one of my Linodes and we're going to select Jimmy. There we go. Excellent. Now that our domains are set up, we can go back to Linode. We can click on our, um, actually we can copy over our, our IP address from the Cloudron. We can paste it into a new tab here and we're going to put in the domain that we just set up. So I'm going to be using this is gamedev.com. Let's make sure I copy it right. And we're going to click Linode and we are going to make an API token. We're going to go over to our username. We're going to click on API tokens. Then we can create a personal access token. I'm going to say Jimmy Cloudrun 3. I've already done this a couple times. And we're going to make sure that domains is set to read and write. And that's it. The rest can be set to none. And I'm going to make it not expire. We'll create the token, copy it over. And over here, we can now paste it into the API token and click next. So now we just have to wait for it to set up. Okay, so now we have our admin set up waiting for us. We can put it in our full name, email, username, and password. And we can create admin. Cloudrun is ready to use. We can proceed to the dashboard. And here it is, ready for us to install some apps. So we can sign in. And I'm going to accept the Cloudrun license. And here we have all the different apps that we can go ahead and install. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we're going to be doing some videos in the future where we go through and install some of these and show you how to use them now that we have the Cloudrun set up. By the way, in the description below, there is a link that will give you $100 of free credit for Linode and it lasts 60 days. So if this is something that's interesting to you, then definitely check out that link and take advantage of that offer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below so that we know what you want to see next. We'll see you next time.